This is the King Bowen K8 Pro. It's a scan tool that is trying to knock out the competition. Oh! Hey everybody, welcome to Random Fix. I got the K8 Pro in my hands and this is gonna be a scan tool that offers lifetime updates. <laughs> it's offering a lot of value and in this video today we're gonna see if it's up for the fight. We're gonna do a couple of different things. I'll show you guys what's included. We'll hop in some cards. And at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my honest review and give it a random fix tool grade so you guys can decide if it's a winner or it's just a chicken dinner. If you like this kind of content, consider giving it a thumbs up. I can't lift my thumb. It's there, trust me. And hit subscribe as well as it lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys valuable content. It's free and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's quickly take a look at what's included. We get the scan tool here, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Inside this box, we get a smaller hard shell case like this. Really nice. It is a little bulky, but I think they're trying to make this professional grade. It's completely padded on the inside, and it comes with the activation code. Here's all the different adapters that are included. And honestly, most of the times I'm not gonna need this because they're for specialized uses. Let me explain. This is a charging brick. I use my Android connector. This is for DOIP. So my VCI would plug into here. This connects to the vehicle and my internet connection, which is gonna be hardwired, would go right there. We got an extension cable for the OBD2. USB-C to USB-A. Connector for USB to Ethernet. And an Ethernet connector and the US plug as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the scan tool. So really nice size display. I'll put all the specifics on the screen so you guys can see it. The one thing that I do want to note about this, this is a little bit heavier. And one of the reasons I think this is heavier than some of the other scan tools in this price range is because this has a battery that is almost three times the size of competing brands. So if you use this for work, this might be a great option as it's not going to go and die on you in the middle of the day. And it does have a kickstand, which is perfect for going around airbags or steering wheels. And here's that vehicle communication interface, the VCI. And this K8 is actually great because it has a magnetic hold and just snaps into place. If I put it in the other way, it doesn't work. It makes it easier to line up. It does have a camera on the back. Up top, we have a power button, USB-C connection. This is where I charge it from. And we also have a USB-A connection. So let's look at this interface here. I have connected to Wi-Fi and to activate this, it is a little bit of a timely process. You have to type in your email address and I don't understand why they make you go through that as this has lifetime updates. So you will notice that I have installed 229 updates and I will show you guys the remaining memory that's available as this comes with 64 gigs of ROM and four gigs of RAM and it is ultra fast. Right here, we have an expiry date and it says forever. So free lifetime updates, guys. Let's go through, talk about this interface here and how you can navigate through this. If you pull down, this is gonna be the menu system. We could turn Bluetooth on and off, Wi-Fi, all that stuff is here. It does have a screen recorder and also the camera can be launched right here. The main menu is very simple to understand. It's got a very clean layout and we have intelligent diagnosis. This is what I use about 99% of the times to access a vehicle. This right here is a lot more cumbersome and I have to select the vehicle. Maintenance, so this has a total of 34 reset functions. Let's talk about these functions really quick. We have add blue for diesel vehicles, resets for adaptive front headlights, airbag reset, air fuel ratio reset, key matching. So on that Prius, I actually made a key with a scan tool just like this. And depending on the scan tools, some are better than others. And I haven't really tried it on this particular tool but just know that there are specialized scan tools for this. If that is something that you're really into, you may want to take a look at that and I'll try to leave you guys a link to one down below. Air suspension, ABS bleeding, battery matching, brake pad reset, clutch matching, DPF reg regeneration, diesel vehicles, 
water pump activation, ECU resets. We're going to talk a little bit more about this towards the end as it's something a little bit more advanced and I don't want to give you guys false hopes. I'm going to go through this. There's going to be quite a few here and just know that this doesn't pertain to every vehicle. So this does offer a coverage list, which we'll take a look at. And the coverage list is right here. And again, the coverage list is online. And then we have modules. These are the additional accessories I can buy. This could include a printer, video scope, oscilloscope, battery, tester, and a TPMS tool. Again, for TPMS, sometimes you need an auxiliary tool to activate the sensors, files, repair information. We have remote assistance and setting. So let's go to settings really quick. This is going to be my particular device and I did have to activate it like I mentioned earlier. I wish that wasn't the case as it actually took a few minutes. I don't know what it is but every time I try one of these King Bone or Launch Scan tools I always have a complicated login process and I'll talk more about claims that people say this is from Think Car or Launch and I'll address that at the end. We're going to go to FCA. This right here is basically going to be a feature you can buy if you're going to work on vehicles from Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge that are 2018 and newer. It is compatible so FCA authorization or auto auth is enabled. I normally use bypass cables and I'll leave you guys a link to a video where I use that because it saves the additional yearly fees and it's a one-time purchase and I think it's about 20 to 30 dollars. We got other gateways we can buy, diagnostic information, business information, customer management, album, screen recording, settings, and under settings we can choose metric or imperial and after all the updates have been installed this is the total usage so out of the 64 gigs of RAM 33 gigs are available which is quite a lot so this is definitely going to be future proof. We're connected to a Mercedes I did the intelligent diagnosis and let's hit diagnose this is how easy it is guys just make sure your ignition is on and on certain vehicles the engine has to be running One thing to acknowledge, the voltage is shown right there. On my vehicle, I have unplugged the sound generator. When you put this in reverse, it makes that beeping noise. And right now it's stuck. Pausing didn't work. I want to see if this scan tool is giving me an issue or is my vehicle. Let's try it with a different scan tool. This one seems to be getting it. Let me move these out of the way. Anyway, 32 systems, 27 DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes, and it didn't stall out. This is the 12 in 1 graphing, no delays. And the nice thing is, I can actually record this. And if I want to add or take away graphs, there's going to be this side menu. And again, it just took one away. And the data streams are organized differently on each vehicle. So this happens to be on a Mercedes. Anything that's related to the engine running at idle can be selected here. If I want to go through and get the oil circuit information, it gives me five fields of information that I could monitor. And then hit OK. And I can graph all these at once. Under the engine control module, we have special functions. And these are going to be the teach-in resets. So for coding, we can actually download it. And then once we get a new module in there, we can actually go through and upload it. Bidirectional functions. So let's just say I had an issue with the air conditioner here. And I wasn't sure if it was the panel or something other than this. So I'm going to go through and activate the light. Now I'm going to deactivate it. And again, bi-directional functions do work on the Mercedes. I'm still in the air conditioner. Now I'm turning up the blower motor. Bi-directional 
Support is great for easy testing without having to do any removal. Now we're in a Prius and let's see what we can find out with this particular tool. And we'll try the auto scan again. So the auto scan was successful, 16 systems found, zero diagnostic trouble codes. That is looking good. Now I can do a quick report and I can also save this report or I can share it. I recently had to replace the battery on this Prius and the way I figured out that the battery was bad is by looking up the information in the hybrid system. So let's see if we can access that. I'm gonna go to the powertrain. We're gonna choose hybrid. Now let's go to read data streams and I'm gonna go look up the voltage on the battery packs. Okay, hybrid. Everything related to the batteries. And this one has a total of 10 packs. Now I can go ahead and graph. So I've chosen the battery packs here and I can quickly figure this out. And I can combine up to three of them at a time on this. So these are packs one through four. This graphing option is really cool. Let's take a look at the actuation tests. Compression tests, the driving fan, battery change, the water pump activation. I like the little summary here. Is this really useful? And let's check out the actuation tests available for the engine control module. And we'll go to OBD2. OBD2 is actually useful, especially for smogs. I'm gonna check inspection monitors and everything is accurate. So the ones that don't apply are going to be shown as not supported. Let's check out this scan mode to see if it actually works. Anyway, that doesn't work. And I forgot to show how easy it is to update this. So check that out. We have five new updates that are available. And all I have to do is hit update. Again, I'm pretty far from the house and the Wi-Fi is working great. And one thing that's pretty cool in the repair info besides the browser is gonna be this learning center. So if I was new to scan tools and I didn't know how to do certain procedures, I have the option of actually doing a playback. So this is the playback available and right now it just supports GM and Ford. I can just go ahead and hit this. and now it'll walk me through it. Earlier I had a problem on the Mercedes and underneath the feedback section, I can actually go through and quickly submit a trouble ticket and it takes just seconds. Submitting that feedback request was really easy and that's how this tool actually improves. Every time there's an issue, a user reports it and the data just gets better. So I tested this unit initially about six days ago and six days later I have tested it some more and I'm ready to go and give you guys my final take on this. I just want to point out a couple of things that may not be obvious unless you play with a lot of scan tools and it's this. Each scan tool has its own pros and cons. So some scan tools are great at doing certain things and on certain vehicles they're amazing which I'm going to talk about a little bit because it's K8 Pro has some very cool functions for Ford and VW vehicles. And just know that my experience might be completely different from yours because of the vehicle that you drive. So in my case, we saw a little hiccup on the Mercedes Benz here, and it wasn't able to complete that health scan. Maybe this is an update away from getting fixed, just like every other scan tool. King Bowen sent me this, so I give you guys my honest feedback, and you guys get to decide for yourself. Other than that, there's some things that I really love about this unit, some things that I would possibly try to improve. One of the things that I really love about it is the lifetime updates. The battery is amazing and the 
package is complete. So all the cables that I want and need, again, lifetime updates, makes it kind of a no-brainer. And one of the things that I'm not a big fan of is the sign-up process. I don't know what it is, but as I stated earlier in the video, twice already, it is a little bit hard to sign up. I have to sign in and out of the device like three or four times in order for it to actually sync. And there's some rumor out there that this is a launch product that is rebranded and others have stated that to get this particular scan tool to register on auto auth you need to go underneath thinkar as king bolin is not even showing there and i did verify that king bolin is not on the sheet and i'll show you guys this i couldn't get a definitive answer and i even asked chat gbt and it said it's most likely the case but i personally think they're all a little bit different and some of the UIs or the user interfaces are just so much better. If you own a Mazda, a Ford, or a Lincoln, this is really gonna be an amazing scan tool for you. People that have Porsche, Audi, and VW, this has guided functions. So you're really talking about some next level scan tool functions. And the only thing that it lacks as of right now and maybe they'll add this in the future, is gonna be topology scanning. So something like this Mercedes-Benz, that's a 2024, has a lot of computers. That's why it kept getting hung up on that health scan. With the topology mapping, I can easily identify which CAN bus line it is and quickly troubleshoot the issue. So I'm gonna go and give this a random fix tool grade of 90 out of 100, which is a really good score. I'm gonna leave you guys some cool links down below including one to a coupon. And I'm gonna display it for you guys on the screen too, in case you guys wanna go and jump on this and save some additional money. So what's crazy about scan tools and YouTube is most of the information that I actually have learned is from viewers like yourself. So if you have a unique story or something to add to this video, please comment down below as I really do enjoy reading all your comments and I do my best to get back to each and every one of you guys and point you guys in the right direction. Thanks again. This is every son's dream when the father tells them that, go ahead and hit me for a video. All right, this guys. Is Texas. No. Oh, stop. <laughs> this is the King Bolin K8 Pro. <laughs> Ow. Oh, love it. Take the glasses off. All right, let's see what you got, champ. All right, all right. All right.